We're going to be moving right along and give you my text. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Romans 5, verses 3 and 4. You got to see me. We, we also rejoice in our suffering because we know that suffering produces perseverance and perseverance character and character hope. Tonight, this morning rather, I want to use for a text or thought a mother of patience. A mother of patience. Let us bow our head. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we do thank you today for this time that you afford us to be here. And we thank you, Lord, for the anointing that's in this place. But Father, I ask you, dear Lord, to saturate me with your anointing for this set time. We ask you, Lord, to breathe on this word. Bless the hearers and the doers of your said word. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If we go into this lesson, a mother of patience, we also rejoice in our suffering, Romans 5, 3 and 4, and go back in it. We rejoice in our suffering because we know that suffering produces something. It produces perseverance, and perseverance character and character hope. In other words, our suffering produces something. We know it. We know that in our suffering, we know that there's going to be some benefits. In our suffering, it produces perseverance. It gives us a mind that we can endure this. We can just endure this. It's going to give us character. It's going to show what we're made out of. And how we react in it will let us know that we are hoping for something. That we're not giving up. Sometimes when we are in a situation or a battle, we can't let suffering stop us. Because if we know if we can go through this, that's going to produce something. It's a greater prize. Something greater is going to come out of this suffering. Something tangible. Something that God has put in it. He said you must go through the test. God don't tempt us. But he put us to a test. So if we go through the test and we, it's going to build us up. It's going to produce. It's going to produce character. It's going to produce our perseverance. It's going to, it's going to, it's going to land up with some, some power and some knowing that, that we got to go through it to get it. So it is a mother of patience. She don't give up on her children. She don't stop praying for her children. She said, well, I just got to, I just got to pray a little bit more. I just got to trust God a, a little bit more. Lord, in other words, I got to touch. In other words, Lord, touch me, Lord Jesus. It's, 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 it's the angelic God. God says, say, touch me, Lord Jesus. Give me the patience to go through this. Help me, Lord. And sometimes we go through things and the mothers go through things in their life and, 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 and they need God to touch them. Give me strength, Lord. And sometimes we go through the suffering times and we don't know how many times that they had to do it out. Sometimes they had to cry. And sometimes with tears in their eyes they said, Lord, touch me. Touch me, Lord Jesus. That I have patience. That I have the patience even to believe you for a miracle, even if for my child. Give me strength for my children, Lord. Lord, help me to be around to see all my children get grown. Lord, help me. Give me patience, Lord. 
In other words, when I'm going through some hard times in my life, and we do, we all have life struggles, and we do go through some pain in our life, and, and this is the part of life. Life is not easy, but through Christ we can make it, because it produces perseverance. Our suffering produces perseverance. Press on, because it will, it will show what you are made out of. Because the counterpart will come if you can make it. If you can take it, you can make it. So it is today, some people look at you and they, they can't see the scars. Looking at you in the natural eye, you can't see what I'm going through. And how many times I had to cry and how many times I had to do it out. It don't show the scars and the pain and the things you have been through. It don't show it. You look at the outside, you may not see the scars. You may not see the time that I had to do without, the mother had to do without for their children. Sometimes, sometimes they had to cry, but it said, Lord, touch me, Lord Jesus. A mother of patience endures to the end. My destiny is so important. I got to be around when my children are sick. I got to be around. I got to be around to pray to the Lord, Lord, touch them, heal them. I had to be around to teach them things. I had to be around to counsel them and be there as a, as a helpmate to tell them you can do it, encourage them. Sometimes a mother has to be around to, just to give them words of encouragement. Sometimes just keep on moving, baby. Don't give up. Just keep on doing what you're doing. Live right. Do what's right. When everybody's doing wrong, do what's right, baby. You can make it. You can make it sometimes just hearing the right word at the right time. So the mother never gives up on her children. So we can't give up on what? God. See, we can't give up on believing God for the miracle. How many times we gave up? Look like God wasn't coming fast enough. But that mother had patience. He coming. He coming, baby. He said he would never forsake us. David said, the righteous will never be forsaken. He said, I was young, but now I'm old. But I never seen the right to forsaken. He's coming. Just be patient. Sometime in the midst of your trials, in the midst of your going through, one word it did be patient. It's give you hope. Patient is hope. And hope is faith in God. So the word patient and, and, and hope is so identical to the fact that you're saying patient produces hope. And the character part produces hope. Character produces hope. So you're being strong in God in our endurance. Perseverance makes us strong. It shows who, just shows what you're made out of. So, so sometimes when you look at, I heard someone said, and I was at the flea market and said, it said, a mother can take care of a hundred children. But a hundred children can't take care of a mother. It was saying that, that mother has got so much strength. She can take care of all the children. Amen. Mm -hmm. But a hundred children can't take care of one mother. I begin to think because he said it again on a, on a loudspeaker. We allowed it. In other words, that mother never gives up. She said, I just take care of that one. I take care of that one too. And how many times mothers, they have had twins and, and had and, and had triplets and, and, and had quad triplets and had all them babies, but God gave them strength. I can take care. It don't make no difference how many children they have. They say, well, I got, I, got, I got enough love for all of them. That's what she's saying. That's what he was saying. Say, mother, mother's love never runs out. A genuine mother love never runs out. She'll be patient with the with the baby and, and, and say, well, oh, he'll he getting better. Oh, he ain't got nothing to look cold, but it, it'll be better. It's all right. Patience.
patience 